What's up, Hognose fans? Thanks for tuning in to Hognose One. So I'm going to throw you a massive bone. Everybody out there today will, uh, I think, find some fascination with this particular website if you're not aware of it already. This is iNaturalist. iNaturalist was created so that there could be citizen scientists around the world that submit photo observations for scientific purposes, for research, for study, etc., etc. It covers everything. So you can look right here on the main page, 202 million observations submitted by individuals. Scientists can't be everywhere at once. Wildlife collaborators, people that make videos, we can't be everywhere at once. So we really need a website like this where people can talk about or show, display what they've encountered in nature. Wow, and this website's just amazing that we look into. But what we want to look at today is hognose snakes. We're going to jump in here real quick. You can punch in just a common word, hognose, and it'll bring up hognose snakes, eastern hognose snake, plains hognose snake. That's the one we love here at this channel. So we're going to jump on there and click plains hognose snake. It's going to bring up every observation in this map. Now, while I love map form, we'll get into that in just a few minutes. We're going to go to grid. Grid shows you pictures. You can scroll down here. And if you want to say punch in a specific filter of a location, let's just say you're curious and you want to know what hognose snakes, plains hognose snakes look like in Canada. You can punch in this location. Click that. It'll go automatically. And every snake that's generated here in these pictures is from Canada. So it's pretty amazing. You get to see what people have submitted, what they see. Uh, you'll see a lot of darker animals, not all of them. Uh, a lot of darker bellies that you generally find. And you can see this one up here is kind of a dark gray. This one here is a dark brown or tan. Uh, really cool patterns a lot of times in some of these. This one here is very, very dark. You can look over here, a couple big dark ones, really pronounced rostrums. But it's funny, you see a lot of sandy soils just where they occupy. Sometimes you can't see DORs, be aware. Uh, they take pictures of whatever because it's important scientifically. Could be a dead animal, something mummified on a road. But notice how many dark animals we're seeing from these localities. Think about the benefit to science there. We understand that darker colors typically absorb light and heat better. So in a cooler environment, that would be highly beneficial for survival. But you can just go ahead and look into all these little things. Look at this one here. It's got a, looks like a side blotch lizard that it's eaten. That's really pretty cool. Maybe a fence lizard. I can't really tell. But those are benefits to science. Here's one over here on this side where there's a hole that they've dug. That is a hognose dug hole, probably looking for lizards or amphibians. All of this information is beneficial. You can go to really any of these, click on them. You'll see even closer what locality it was on a map. Those are benefits. You can zoom into some of these pictures. See this one here playing dead. It looks like it's in blue. That's just cool stuff to me. I love looking at, at things like this. So you can X out of that. We'll just... Go back. I'm going to go to the top and show you a different view. You can go to map and it outlines all of Canada. I'm going to X out of that one and zoom in and you can tell that, well, it looks like there are three provinces here, Saskatchewan, Alberta, and Manitoba, where the plains hognose snake occurs or lives. Not a whole lot of examples but you know that's a good little cluster there of probably 20 submissions you know there are quite a few more than what's submitted but i still think it's pretty cool that these you know live that far north now if we want to change our query again we can go and put in let's just say texas and brings up all the submissions there you can do it on the county level I've talked about before, I had a friend that bought a hognose snake that was from Hudspeth County. I know where Hudspeth County is. It's right over here by El Paso County. So this is going to be this one. But let's just bring it up on the little search box here. I'm 
Hudspeth County, Texas. You're going to bring it up. It's going to show you what Hudspeth County is, going to give you the border there, and then have that one example. You can also go right over here and click this. Either way, you're going to get the same picture coming up. It's like Chris Harrison. He's a herper. It's been around for a long time, did significant studies in the Trans-Pecos of Texas, and has this really nice animal here. I hope this information on the short tutorial has been of interest to you as it has for me. As always, thank you for the like and subscribe, and I hope to catch you on the flip side.